Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first of all let us discuss price relative. Now a price relative or simply a relative is a ratio of the price of certain commodity in a given period to its price in an earlier fixed period called the base period or reference period expressed as a percentage. So the price relative is equal to the current price over base price in 200 or you can write price relative is equal to P1 over P0 in 200. Where P0 and P1 denote the commodity price during the base period and a given period respectively. Now let us discuss one example. Now let rice be sold at five dollars per kg in the year nineteen ninety nine and at seven dollars per kg in the year. 2002, then relative price in the year 2002 with 1999 as the base year is equal to the current price which is Seven dollars per kg over the base price, which is five dollars per kg, into hundred, which is equal to one forty. So it means if the price was hundred dollars. In the year 1999, then it was $140 in the year 2002. Now let us discuss the methods of constructing unweighted index numbers. Now, in unweighted index numbers, All the commodities are given equal importance or significance. Now, there are two methods of constructing Unweighted index numbers. First is the simple aggregate method and the second is the simple average of price relative method. First of all, let us discuss the simple aggregate method. Now in this method, sum of the current year's prices is divided by the sum of the base year prices and the quotient is multiplied by 100. And this formula is used, that is, P01 is equal to summation P1 over summation P0 
into 100 where summation P1 denotes the aggregate of the prices in the current year when summation P0 denotes the aggregate of the prices in the base year and P01 denotes the price index number for the current year with reference to the base year. Now let us discuss one example for this. Now in this let us construct price index number for the year 1980 based on the year 1981 using simple aggregate method. Now here the commodities are given to us as A, B, C and D and the price in 1980 in dollars is given as 50, 45, 35 and 20 and the price in 1981 in dollars is given as 16, 50, 40 and 25. Now here the year 1981 is the current year and for this year we will take 1980 as the base year. Now for finding the price index number we will use this formula that is let us take the prices in the current year as P1 and let us denote the prices in the base year as P0 and now we will find summation P1 and summation P0 on calculating that is on adding all these values we are getting summation P1 as 175 and here on adding all these values, we are getting summation P0 is equal to 150. So the price index number P01 is equal to summation P1 over summation P0 into 100. This will be equal to, now summation P1 is 175, summation P0 is 150. So this will be 175 over 150 into 100 and this will give P01 that is the price index number is equal to 116.67. So if the total prices in the year 1980 is represented by 100 then the total prices in the year 1981 will be represented by 116.67 and it is called the simple aggregate price index for the year 1981 taking the year 1980 as the base year. Therefore, for calculating the price index number, in the first step we will add the prices of the different commodities in the current year and then we will obtain summation P1. Then in the second step, add the prices of the commodities of the base year. By this we will obtain summation P0. And then in the next step, divide the total of the current year with the base year. That is summation P1 over summation P0. And multiply the quotient by 100. So the price index number P01 will be equal to summation P1 over summation P0 into 100.
and this method can be applied when the prices of all the commodities have been expressed in the same unit and if the units are different the result will be misleading and now let us discuss the simple average of price relative method now in this method first of all the price relative of each commodity is found separately for this the price in the current year that is p1 is divided by the price in the base year that is p0 and then the quotient is multiplied with 100 then after calculating the price relative of each commodity separately the average is taken this average may be determined by using any measure of central value that is arithmetic mean or geometric mean or harmonic mean or median or mode but here we will discuss only the arithmetic mean to find out the average of price relatives now if n is the number of items then the price index number p01 is equal to now we have to take the average of the price relatives which will be equal to the sum of the observations over number of observations so p01 will be equal to summation of P1 over P0 into 100 the whole, whole upon the number of observations that is n. Now let us discuss one example. Now in this we have to calculate the price index number by simple average of relative method. For this given data, now in this the commodities are given to us as A, B, C, and D, and the price in 1980 in dollars is given as 50, 45, 35, 20, 20, and the price in 1981 in dollars is given as 60, 50, 40, 40, and 25. Now here the year 1981 is the current year. So the prices in the year 1981 will be denoted by P1, and for the year 1981, the year 1980 is the base year. So the prices in the year 1980 will be denoted by P0. Now for the solution, here we will make one more column in which we will calculate. the price relatives which will be calculated by using the formula p1 over p0 into 100 so we will compute the price relatives of all the commodities under consideration now for the commodity a the price relative will be p1 over p0 that is 60 upon 50 into 100 which is equal to 120 then for the commodity b the price relative will be p1 over p0 that is 50 over 45 into 100 which is equal to 111.11 Then for the commodity C, this will be 40 over 35 into 100, which is equal to 114.28. Then for D, the price relative will be 25 over 20 into 100, which is equal to 125. 
Now on adding all the values of the price and relatives, we get summation of P1 over P0 into 100 the whole is equal to 417.39. And now to find the price index number, we will find the average of the price relatives by using the arithmetic mean. So by using the arithmetic mean, P01 will be equal to summation of P1 over P0 into 100 per whole. Whole upon number of observations, that is M, which is equal to. Now summation P1 over P0 into 100 per whole is equal to 470.39. And the number of observations are 4. So P01 will be equal to 470.39 over 4, which is equal to 117.6. So in this session, you have learned about price relative and then the methods of constructing the unweighted index numbers. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.